going guys, Brussels. Here we go guys, I arrived in Brussels, central. So now I'm gonna try to make my way to the market square. Let's see where I have to go, I don't know yet. Oh great, there you go, there is where you go to the washroom. If you need to go for a pee, here it is. Right in front of the church. <laughs> so, now I need to find my way to the market square. I don't even know if you have to wear a mask here or not. That looks promising. This one looks promising too. Uh, I take this one. There is so much to see here and interesting things to see that it's hard to film them all. However, I need to come back for a second visit. Today my mission is uh, to find Manica Peace. Manica Peace is a famous statue here in Brussels and that's what we're aiming for. I need to find uh, the square first because from oh maybe it's here from the square I I should find my way to it This is a very old square, old houses, very ornate. I don't know if you can see it with the sun here. <laughs> Go a little bit closer. It's uh, amazingly ornate. So this is the market square. That was easy. Now I need to, I just need to find the... Orient myself. Orientation, orientation. I'm gonna find the statue somewhere. Let's go. I think I'm in the right direction now. I, I I was in a couple wrong streets, but now I think I'm gotten here because I see Belgian waffles. And from what I remember on the map, it was close by. Oh, here, this is the statue thing. See? Look at all the waffles you can buy. Wow! I know. Oh, this is a chocolate store. Holy crap! Look at this. The statue is totally made out of chocolate. Wow. Oh, oh gosh, here we got it. The sun is in my way. Here it is. It is way smaller than everybody thinks. When you see pictures of it, it looks way bigger than it actually is. So. I'm gonna get uh, a little bit closer so you can see it better. And it's shapes. There we go. It looks different from when I remember way back, but... Right? 
it seems to get smaller and smaller. It's a really, really small statue. And from the last time I was here, I thought it was even way bigger, but apparently not, because this is the spot where it always was. And the legend about the uh, Managa piece is uh, dates way back. It dates way from like I think 1400s or 1500s and it's, uh, it's been said that that little guy saved the, si the city because there was a war going on, a war between Spain and the rest of Europe basically and at one point the Spaniards had uh, were, were trying to bomb the city meaning they had placed bombs everywhere and so they were, they were going to destroy the whole city, basically, the whole city of Brussels. But they had fuses. In the old days, they worked with fuses. And the fuses were lit, apparently. And then that little guy came, um, uh, came upon a lit fuse and he peed on it. So the bombs didn't go off. And apparently, what the legend is saying, he saved Brussels. And there he is. <laughs> so I arrived back at uh, Market Square because now I'm going to try to find the female version of Manica Piss. And she is called uh, Janica Piss. So this is uh, going to take me maybe a bit. But I'm back on the Market Square. And from what I think to know, I need to go in that little street there uh, in between, next to this big... I think it's City Hall, this thing here. So... Zanneke piece. Okay, let's see where that takes us. Holy crap. This is a dead end. I think I found it already because two people are watching it. <laughs> Let me see if that's it. It uh, looks like it, yeah. Here, guys, this is it. This is a Janneke piece. Let me see if I can. There you go, right? The fountain is not even working. <laughs> and like Manica piece, this one doesn't work properly. <laughs> oh, this is a total dead end. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there was it, we've seen it. Two tiny statues. It took me a bit to get here, but here on the right, this lady is making uh, cakes. This is a. Take a look at it. It's a bakery, and she's making. Uh, I don't know what she's making. That's kind of good. <laughs> Makes you hungry. My third mission today is to find another statue. Yeah, this one is going to be more difficult to find, but... Well, let's see. Let's see if I can find that. It's supposed to be this way. And I will not tell you what it is yet, because... You're gonna see it when I'm get there, when I'm getting there. So I think I found it, guys.
I think I found it. I'm not telling you guys yet what it is, but <laughs> it's too stupid to mention, but I'm going to go there. I think they have an obsession with uh, peeing people and look at and, and even animals look here it is this is it a bronze statue of a peeing dog can you believe it so there was my third mission for the day. I found it. Uh, okay, let me see if I can find some other little interesting things. Look what I found here. I found... Uh, I was thinking of one of my, fav my favorite vloggers. And uh, this, is, this is a free thing in Babushka News. Maybe I find here some Babushka news in here to read on the train. It's Brussels, but close enough to Babushka. Earlier I was, uh, I was lying to you guys. I was saying that that building, I thought that that building was a city hall. However, I just found out that this building is City Hall. You know, the very ornate building that uh, I was first talking about. And it has this huge tower, which I thought was a church, but apparently it's not. This is uh, City Hall. Souvenirs from Brussels, look at this. We got the old manic piece and the bottle openers, corkscrews. And in all colors and even with clothing on, there you go. Well, that's it. You can only pass uh, so many waffle stands without getting really, really hungry and feel like having one, so I did it. Look what I got myself here. Wow. <clears throat> a waffle with some whipped cream and sugar. And it's a warm one, so Brussels is famous for waffles, so I hope it's a good one. <laughs> okay. Twelve seconds later. Finished. It was a good one. Now that I was eating here and standing around looking, I saw this sign here. Look at this. <clears throat> it's, I know it's French, but it says, I am in the restaurant business for 30 years. And now I am dying. Help. These are the signs of the times now. It's a sad story. Really, really sad story. If you if you have a restaurant for 30 years, and now it's uh, what with what's going on, <coughs> people are going out of business. Sad. Okay, guys, this was it for my Brussels experience. I'm gonna make my way back to the train station now. I had my waffle. And I'm a happy guy. <laughs> So I'm going to the train station. Look, looks like the old Soviet Union. So this is it guys, I'm going down to the tracks. Bye bye.